There we go guys, check this out. Got the pool framed up. They came earlier today. Did all the removing of the side, as you could see there. And you got all this big framework. Still got a pile of dirt over here. But this is gonna be the before. When this video is all said and done, I'm gonna show you guys the finishing touch. Tomorrow they're actually gonna do the big hole digging right here. This area is actually gonna be the jacuzzi. This area is actually gonna be the pool. You got the splash pad over there. For the kids, there's gonna be a water feature over here. Three of them are gonna be spraying down and then those two edges are gonna be lower. And this side is gonna be the deep side. And then we're gonna have a cage as well on that. But this is the uh, early stages, guys. What it's gonna look like. So, so, so crazy. This thing is huge, bigger in person than on paper when we uh, drafting everything and getting the idea down. All right, guys, here we go. It is day two. As you can see by the dirt trail over there and the dirt pile, they put in some work today. So we had the big truck come out, dig it down. Got the pretty much elevation out here. And I guess tomorrow they're gonna come and do more shaping and I believe rebar. I'm not 100% sure, but this is day two, guys. Look at this, look at the progress. That's crazy. You can see it more coming together now as you can kind of see the shapes filling out of where the sun decks or sun shelf, whatever you want to call it, is going to be. You can kind of see the retaining wall where that's going to be as well. Really, really nice. This thing's coming together. They put in work today, man. Wow. So impressed. So don't have too much more to go, I don't think. Um, but I don't never built the pool, so I have no idea. But to me, they're going really, really fast. All right, guys, another beautiful day, nice and breezy. And another update for you guys. Look at this. So today they came through and did the, uh, the plumbing, as you can see all the pipe there. You got a bunch of rebar right here as well. That needs to go up and a lot more rebar. So that looks like that's the next part. Um, they did put down that membrane that you see there all the way around. And they got some of the plumbing down in the middle as well as you can see man this thing's really coming together now you can see some of the piping on there as well really really nice I'm loving the way this is coming out every time they do something you can like notice more and see the pretty much final touch a lot more I know it's hard to say looking at this and looking at that but believe me I can definitely see and envision everything um, as you see here, the complete setup of how it's gonna look. All right, guys. So, like usual, we gotta start off with the dirt pile. <laughs> Check this out, look at the progress. Wow, so they came and did the full rebar today. So it completely has the shape and outline of the pool and what's, what it's gonna look like. All pipes are in place, ready for the dirt to backfill in there and in here and pretty much all around. But wow, right now you can actually see the shape that the jacuzzi's taken. It actually has its own shape now, which looks crazy. Look at that. You got overflow going on right there and then overflow back into the pool. Oh my God, this is gonna look nuts, guys. Piping is all done. This is all done, ready for the pressure test. So they're gonna come in, I guess they hook up hoses to, let me zoom in so you can see. They hook up hoses there and then turn it on and I guess that'll tell them uh, what pressure it's supposed to be at. And they got them, as you could see, uh, all around on every pipe. Um, so they're gonna come do that on Monday, I believe. And then after that, it's coming to shoot all the concrete. So let's take a walk on this side. Man, so here's the uh, pressure gauge there, ready to go, all pipes are in. Holy crap, guys, this thing is looking real and real every day. I know I say it sounds crazy, but never in a million years I would think that I would have my own pool and then see the progress of it being built. This is nuts. Look at that. Like, it's got the full shape. Everything's starting to look like the drawing now because these are actually making lines. So it's making it more real. It's so crazy. Wow. Progress, guys. Big, big progress. Can't wait. Here we are, guys. Another update, another day. Gonna show you how it looks like. 
Yes, we still have that pile of dirt. Don't worry, that's going away. But look at this. Let's get a closer look. Damn, they did a crazy job on that right there. Hold on. It's going to get a little wobbly, but I want to show you guys how it looks. That is crazy, guys. Let me know what you think. <laughs> still early in the stages but man you could definitely see it could definitely see it coming together now everything was smooth these guys definitely put in work today and just this is my favorite part i'm excited can't wait for the jacuzzi how crazy that looks and you got the splash pad sun deck over there you got three water water features it's going to be waterfall style coming out of those little notches that you see there and then you got your deep end man Oof. lights are going to be over there Lights are going to be on the side here, and then also in the jacuzzi and on the side there as well. Damn, big, big progress, guys. Super, super sick. Here's another side view, guys. Look at that. That's what it's going to look like in between the pool and the dirt mound. You can see everything structured up. Looking crazy. Look how deep that goes, six feet. Pretty good for this area and all that space in between. Looks scary, but once it's done, it's gonna look crazy. All right, here we go, guys. Next update, as you can see, infamous hill is uh, probably about maybe three foot high now. They pushed all the dirt back in and backfilled everything. I'm gonna show you guys that first, what that looks like. And they did it all up top there as well. As you can see, the pool is ready for plumbing, which will be the next step. And also uh, putting the tile on that area and all up around here and then tiling the uh, jacuzzi as well. So one of those two steps will be next. I don't know which one, uh, probably plumbing, but man, it's really, really coming along, especially with getting this all flattened out. All the other stuff uh, that you guys saw before is all out of the way. So it becomes more and more closer to the finish line as you start seeing stuff like this. You can actually walk up to it now and, um, and look at it. So let's take a look at that real quick as well. That's nuts guys. So we're almost at the finish and uh, just a few more stuff to do. But every time it keeps getting real and realer. Super excited, I can't wait. Y'all here for the journey. You guys are gonna see the finishing uh, touch when it's all said and done. All right, guys, here we are, another day, and look what's going on. All the plumbing has been done, it's covered, and you can see everything over there is covered as well. You can see all the plumbing pipes for the insides. Let's come around here, take a look at the jacuzzi. Plumbing's already set as well, ready to go. And right over there, they got all the plumbing done. You got the heater up there, you got the filter, everything's done right there. And all the dirt has been put back. So the next thing, I guess, is tiling. So they're gonna come put tile all over this jacuzzi, uh, tiling all around the sides and the borders, and then tiling on the backsplash wall there as well. So that's gonna be pretty dope. I'm excited for that, because once you see that, it's really, really gonna come alive and um, make this thing pop. So that's gonna be super exciting. And then they're gonna come in after that, I believe is compact all this dirt in, make sure everything is leveled and graded. And I think after that, they will do the pavers, which will be the next step. But while I'm out here, as I step on the sand for you guys, check this out. So you can see how it looks. Give you a little extended view. Crazy guys, crazy. So that's the part that we're at right now. A little bit of a windy day, but still beautiful. And in no time, I'm gonna be doing a video right in here with you guys. Stick around. All right guys, we got another update for you. So as you can see here, boom, the tile has been done. And they did the tile around the edge of the pool. You can see the back wall there. We got the water feature as well, has been put in in place. So sick, look at that. Clean work, they just gotta come back and do 
that corner that you see there and I guess there's like a corner wall as well. But all in all, look at the quality of work that these guys did here. That thing was so clean, so crazy. All the details, nasty. They killed it. I was watching them put in the finishing touches on it. I was super surprised, very impressed. Excellent quality of work. These guys are nasty. Man, it's coming along. It's almost there. Pretty soon that little pile of dirt is gonna be water. <laughs> What is up guys, we are here with another update. As you can see here, you got these pieces of two x four on the side. That's gonna frame out the end of the pool. And you also got like a little kind of step down style going on. That's all gonna be filled with concrete and it's gonna be coming all the way down to here. And then um, that's also gonna be the foundation for where the cage is gonna go. As you can see back there, they made the box the planter is going to go right in that corner there. And if you come over to this side, damn, can never stop staring at that. But they have the uh, foundation out on that side as well, right by the filter area. That's going to come all the way down where the cage is going to stop right there before the AC. Super, super sick. Look at that. Really coming alive now. You can see the water feature, the little slits ready to go so crazy guys all right guys another beautiful day and do you see what's that right there do you see that we got the pavers finally here crazy and then check this out so they already got the concrete poured out as you can see the borders that were previous there are gone all those are out and then they actually poured it over here so I got a side pathway um, out so that is all poured all done but take a look at the back the back is finally finished look at that sick you got the water features right there ready to go look at that super crazy right there so they got it all the way to the end there and you got the cement uh, pillars on each side crazy almost there guys almost there Woo! pretty soon I'm gonna be having my toes sticking out of this thing right here all right guys we got an update look at that you see what's on the ground that's called pavers yes the pavers are finally in this thing's looking crazy loving the look of it check out the coping matches perfectly with it as well super super sick sorry about the noise back there the neighbors are doing the lawn but look at that crazy you got the edge going out there look at the top there really really nice guys everything is completely coming together almost done not sure what the next step is it might be putting the cage i believe uh over this but man look at this look at it in the sun pile of dirt still there but getting smaller as compared to before super sick guys almost done all right guys so we have an amazing exciting update this is so crazy as you can see look around you the cage is up this thing looks so nice got the double doors here going right outside but just look how it like makes everything look so nice you got the side exit door over there just look how big this thing is crazy crazy excellent quality work these guys put it in put in the time and it came out amazing as you could see there look at that could just chill out here now with the uh porch door open don't have to worry super super crazy and they also painted the base as you could see here like a nice light gray color comes out really nice and i just love the openness of it man this is Wow, getting choked up, man. This is a crazy, crazy dream. Last thing left. Yes, it's right here, guys. They're gonna come put in the um, the spray plaster or whatever that thing is. Basically, once that's done and seal the deal, we can put water. So we got one last step, guys. Well, besides the electrical guys coming to finish setting up the pumping equipment, 
but that should be pretty easy. It actually might be out either today or sometime this week, but man, it's all coming along, guys. Almost there. Stay tuned for the next update. All right, what is up, guys? Coming to you in this very windy, stormy ass day, but got a quick little update for you. We got the uh, pretty much plumbing cut out. Everything set out over there. The pool caps all set out as well. But check out this part right here. So they cleaned everything down, everything sanded down. Look how clean that looks. You can actually walk down here now. You got the lights right there. One light over there. Looking crazy. Let's come down here. I haven't showed you guys this yet. This is nuts. Look at this. We're in the deep, deep side. Another light right there. Got a bunch of plumbing and filters and such all set up and you got another light that's gonna go there all gonna be controlled uh, via phone look at the view back here pretty crazy so crazy look at that guys almost there almost there I guess we got electric to do they got to finish setting that up and then last but not least they're gonna come and put the plaster here today as you see basically what they did today was kind of scrape up all the excess stuff cleaned all the gunk out um, and got it looking nice Man, so, so crazy guys. In about pretty much, I'd say three more weeks or I'd say a month tops just due to the weather being a little chilly. Uh, no heaters working right now. That will be able to hop up in here guys and give you a nice video of me chilling right there with my bottle and my drink. All right guys, final update. I don't know if you're ready. So as you can see, we finally got the sod. We'll start with that. Just show you that real quick through the screen. Do you hear what's in the background? Let me be quiet for a second. I'm not gonna reveal it yet. Just wanna show you the landscaping so you get an idea. We got the trees out here that are gonna be growing for privacy. Once that sets in, it's gonna look crazy. Super excited for that. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you excited? Man, here we go. Bam. Check that out. All done, all completed. Hot tubs ready, heaters going. I'm gonna jump in that bad boy today. This is almost at temperature. Should be there soon. Man, look at this guys. Craziness, craziness. Take it all in, let me go real slow for you. Look at the overflow. Oh yes ready got the waterfall going bubbler going damn this thing was crazy I got my palm trees guys you know I love my palm trees if you know me so we got one there and it's got up lighting I'll do a night video too so you guys can see that you got another traveler's palm there in the middle that thing's gonna go really nice fan out properly and gives like a whole different uh, dimension to the back here and then we got another Christmas uh, palm as well one on each corner and we got the red tie trees right next to it which are those little guys right there actually sorry that that little guy is a hawaiian tie or tea whatever you want to call it we got a crotton plant yes guys i'm getting into my plants these are called songs of india those two guys there so crazy look at this guys take it all in look at the pavers Got a little sand, just gotta take that out, but that's all right. We're not looking at that. We're looking at the bigger picture. And then we got the whole scene here, guys. Check that out. Got the grill ready, griddle ready. Yes, we got both. Got a seating area here. And we got a lounge area here as well with the table. Got a little bug zapper just in case the bugs wanna creep in. Got the fans on deck when it starts getting hot. Yes, sir crazy no that's not a doggy bed that's just a lay low chill bed also for the kids too yeah i can fit in there don't laugh <laughs> man we got the seat out here guys double seat can fit a lot over there and we got the last piece is these uh pool chairs which we're gonna put in probably today or tomorrow man look at this guys take it all in so crazy look at the tile work Looking amazing, popping. 
tile popping in the sun over there as well. Holy crap. Paradise, guys. Paradise. This is the vision I was going for, and I definitely think I, I achieved it. This overflow is crazy. I'm going to show you guys at night as well, so don't worry about that. You're going to get to see the lights. I'm going to do the jets too at night. I'm saving that. I don't want to put that on yet. Gets a better effect at night visually. Uh, that stays on too. That's on a timer, so that'll shut off on its own. The pool heater's on a timer as well. Get it up to speed. But here it is, guys. This has been waiting for this whole time. Check out the cage over it. No bugs coming in here for the most part. Nice and relaxed. Let me just shut up real quick, let you guys take this in. Sheesh. <laughs> Get ready for the next clip, guys, because that's going to be a nighttime one. I'm going to put the lights on for you guys. You're going to see the side lights. Um, but for now, let's swing up front. I'm going to show you guys the landscaping. All right, guys. So this is outside the pool doing the side landscape. So you got these trees here. I believe these are called Jatrophas, if I remember correctly. And you got the Hawaiian tea or Thai. And we put rocks here. And these are also lit at night, which I'll go around and do a night shot so you guys can see. But it comes all the way up to here, which is the front. Here you have the curbing, which is what's right there. And you got another Jatropha tree here. You got the Hawaiian ties, Songs of India in the back there, the whole row. You got the Croton, this is a closer look at that. And these are foxtail ferns, little cool guys, they grow pretty cool. This is my favorite, my baby. This is the bottle palm, sick. Those things pretty much come off. And as it grows, it'll shape just like a wine bottle. So it's going to be two of them here. These are still babies. Everything's actually baby. And this is the agave right here. Um, I forget the full name of it. I'll put that in the link. Actually, sorry, I'll put that in the, uh, in the video description on the bottom. So we put rocks here and you got curbing going all the way around. And over here, we did pavers. Pavers the whole walkway all the way to the driveway you got the foxtail ferns here those are the little guys and we got lighting as well which i'll show you at night here you got the uh pygmy date these are really cool little stubby palms they grow really nice and then we got the other agave right there and we got this guy back here super sick love this way love the way this came out we'll go across Finally able to put both cars in the garage for once, so that's pretty good. And then you got my two big palms here, one big, one small. And man, somebody flies by with that music. You got the Song of India right there, another Hawaiian tie. We put each one on the side of the garage. So when you turn on the garage lights, that actually lights up. And in the middle here, you got an agave and you got another palm. Really sick love love the way this came out so rocks on the bottom as well with the curving let's go around back and i'll show you behind the pool what those look like before we go i'll show you the front so you get to see the view there wifey's got the egg chairs those are actually really really comfortable so you could just sit out here and view those with a little bench nice little vibe going here get your drink your wine whatever you want got a little table there and uh let's make our way to the back so here's a look at the side that I was showing you guys. These are the trees. Once they grow, they're going to pretty much brush together and give like a nice fence of privacy. Here's the Christmas palm right here. It's a little baby. This thing gets pretty big. It's going to be, I think, about 10, 12 feet or so. There goes the Hawaiian. Again, a little close up. You can see what that looks like. And what we did back here, guys, we did a walkway. So you got a paver walkway all the way through. Kind of creates a zen garden vibe and as we make our way over here you get to see the song of india the hawaiian here's the travelers really really nice once this thing grows out it's gonna look beautiful if you guys haven't seen it before definitely definitely nice once it becomes an adult and you got the rest of the walkway here leading around to the filter 
of the pool. And we got the Croton right here. And you got another Hawaiian on that corner next to the pool heater. And you got another Christmas palm right here. Look at the view from back here, guys. Crazy. So I didn't want to pretty much put the sod back here because it would have been too crazy cutting this. It would have got all over the deck back here, which would have made a mess and eventually going to the pool. So this made sense, making this little walkway here really, really nice. Look at that. Here's a top aerial view for you guys. And we'll go inside so I could do an inside version of this and give you a better view. So here's a side view of the water feature. And we got the bubbler over there. Got the overflow of the jacuzzi. Really, really nice. I love that. Almost looks like the infinity. And as you can see, right when you open the doors, that's the first thing that's right in front of you. So that was the main feature. And then your eyes go right to this after that. And then let's go up on this ledge here. I'll show you the full view. Look at that, guys. Damn. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, when I was dead broke. <laughs> Been a long way, guys. Never, never in a million years thought I'd be here, but we are blessed. Look at this view. Straight down to the water feature. Crazy, guys, crazy. Look at that. Straight shot to the inside right there. Taking it all in. So we wanted to maximize the space of the backyard. Everybody wanted us to get a small pool. All the other companies that we were looking at, they basically was trying to get us to get a smaller size just because it was easier and faster for them. But we stuck with our guns and finally found somebody that was willing to play ball and do what we want. Gave us a crazy idea. So shout out to All Seasons for that. They killed it. They're the ones who did this project. Sick. Look at that, guys big big vibes and then uh i'll come back tonight and show you guys what it looks like from the night and we'll do the same angles as well feet deep and three on the shallow end there so a pretty good drop this is like man the jets aren't even on this is just a blower which gives it the bubbles so i'll give you guys that effect so in addition to that i went ahead and turned on the water feature as you can see there got the water splashing down crazy vibe right now crazy tropical vibe Let's get on this side so you guys can see it a lot better. Look at that, guys. Hopefully the camera is steady enough. There we go. Perfect shot for you. And then you pan over this way. Bam. Crazy. 
and you can see all that from the inside. And you got the TV on right there, but so when you're sitting inside, you can see all of this. And it's just super relaxing. Man, take that all in, guys. Crazy big blessing right here. All right, guys, so now we're out of the cage, showing you the up lighting. Look at that, how it just shines on that palm tree. So, so crazy. Let's come around back here. Look how that looks as you're coming down the walkway, coming down the path, and you got that up lighting for the traveler's palm, and you got the other on the other end. So now, look at this from back here. Crazy. And then we're gonna I'm gonna go around front and show you how that looks, because that's the real big showstopper right there. So now we're going to come out the side of the house. As you can see, you got the up lighting there. Look how that looks. Crazy. Looks like, like monsters. <laughs> Shadow right there. All the way up to the top of the house as it's all lit up. And then I'm going to swing around front. I'm going to cut it right when we get to the corner so I can show you guys the real front view so you can take it all in. Right, guys bam there goes the view right there so you got up lighting on the pygmy date palms you got it right there for the corner you got the pathway lights look how that goes all over the pavers straight down to the door straight across look at that let me take a step back so you get the full full understanding here of what's going on a little windy a little chilly so sorry if i'm taking big breaths the cold isn't um fully outgrown me yet but it is little by little now i'm feeling the cold i like before look at that super super crazy and then on the side here you got these trees that are lit up as well got my big boy palm he watches over that house right there. That's the big daddy. And he got his girl right next to him. And look how this looks too, guys. Super crazy. Both have the up lighting. Really, really nice right there. That's what sets it off. Crazy. So let's take a walk through as if you pulled up and you're walking right up the walkway. So you got that light there. Walking just like that. Boom. You got that view. You got that view as you're walking straight in. So now we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you're at the front door looking out. So you got that view right there. Bam. Another one. And right here. So crazy. Look at that. They killed it. Big, big dream come true right here, guys. Just wanted to share it with you. I'm not trying to stunt. Not trying to show off or anything like that. But, man, just wanted to show you guys something I've always dreamed about. And, and now is literally here. So tomorrow, you'll be seeing the next part where... We're jumping in that bad boy because I came home a little late today, so I don't have time to do it. But I was going to make a video of everybody in the pool, enjoying the water features, taking it all in. Look at that. And the lights actually change too, which I'll show you in a second. You could change the colors of the pool. All LEDs. Crazy. Crazy. You got another light right there as well. A light over there. And two lights over there. And you got one in the big boy overflow hot tub. Now we're gonna take a look at the different colors. 
So I'm going to start off with my favorite blue, and then you can change it. So right there, you can see it changing. Hopefully the uh, camera's picking it up. Now it's like a teal color. And let's go into yellow, green. Let's see what's next. Green. It keeps going to, well this is yellow. Now it's going to like a pinkish orange. And then you got purple lighting. Hopefully that's coming out too. And purple, bright purple. And then, what's next? Back to blue. Yep. So we got back to my favorite. This is my favorite setting right here is blue. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So tomorrow's gonna be the big jump in. This thing is warm. I don't wanna put my hand in because if I do, I'm jumping in. I'm so tempted. But I'm gonna save it, show you guys how it looks uh, during the day. They didn't believe in us. God did. Okay, ready? Calm down, Jay. Check this out guys, we are live in the pool, everybody's in, wifey was just in, Peter's on, got the floaties on, <laughs> oh there she goes, <laughs> there you go, <laughs> you got the pool chairs over there on deck, as you can see right there, and I'm over here just chilling, hold up, let me give you my view, let me sit down real quick, oh yeah, there we go, Nice and relaxed. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like because wifey's coming at you if you don't. Street drip. Man, I appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. We're out.